This is going to be a short video, but probably still interesting to some of you. Polymaker is currently hosting a competition that wants you to design the strongest hook. The reason why I post this video is because I think they might have been a little inspired by my hook tests of the last years. And more importantly, because you can win 3D printers of your choice up to $1000 with an additional supply of Polymaker materials. So what are the requirements to enter the contest and what are some tips and tricks we can, for example, learn from rock climbing equipment? Guten Tag everybody, I'm Stefan and welcome to CNC Kitchen. Of course, this is a marketing campaign by Polymaker, though I haven't been paid for this video and will even participate on my own. Our task is to design the strongest hook with some design restrictions, print three of them in Polymaker's Polymax PLA and send them to Polymaker until September the 25th, 2020, who will then be testing them against each other to find a winner. The requirement to print the parts in precisely their material has a strange aftertaste for a competition. Still, I can understand it in a way so that everyone uses the same material and doesn't have an advantage by using some fancy carbon fiber reinforced material or whatever. Well, and it's good for their sales, I guess. If you don't have any Polymax PLA or don't want to buy some or even don't even have a 3D printer, stay until the end of the video where I'll tell you about a way you could still enter the competition. The rules are as follows. You need to print in Polymax PLA using a 0.4mm nozzle and the print must be one piece. The hook can't be heavier than 50 grams. It needs to allow two steel hooks to be attached at both sides for the test conduction. So make sure that they can be inserted. The hook must be open and can't contain any closed holes. This is definitely the most important design requirement, but more on that in a bit. You can't do any post-processing on the hook, like coating or annealing, and you can't reinforce it in any way. So 100% printed in Polymaker Polymax PLA. Keep in mind that the hooks that you see in this video are just for illustrational purposes. They aren't printed dense, nor are they perfectly optimized. That's up to you. The best and strongest way would probably just be something like a chain link or some kind of a dog bone shape. Thus, we need to be a bit more creative. If you have ever been rock climbing and have been taking a close look at the carabiners on which your life depends on, you might have seen three ratings on it, which are also interesting for our problem. There is the normal gate closed rating, which is the intended loading scenario with a strength of usually around 20 kN. In this case, the load goes through both sides, depending on the shape, more or less equally. The next one is transverse loading, which is the loading perpendicular to the intended direction. This axis is significantly weaker because the lever arm is higher, causing higher stresses. Last comes the open gate load rating. This is the load bearing capability if the gate is not closed, which is in real life highly dangerous. In this case, the load only goes through one side and will cause a significant bending action during loading, causing this rating to be even lower than half of the one with the gate closed. So this is interesting now and is also the challenge we need to work on because we're not allowed to print a closed loop for optimal load bearing capability. You could now either get fancy with a shape and optimize a C or S shape with all the tools and ideas you know, like topology optimization or any other method that you have available, or bend the rules. If we take a closer look at the carabiner, it's also not a closed loop because you need to quickly attach a rope by using the gate. The climbing carabiner uses two geometrical features that after a bit of deformation make a closed loop out of an open loop. And printing something with a gap that closes after some deformation should be totally within the rules. Honestly, I think that there is no way that a C or S shape design even optimized to its maximum will beat even a fairly simple carabiner design. But this doesn't make the contest pointless because designing one of these closing mechanisms can be challenging and even the shape of the hook itself can be tweaked quite a bit. I'm really interested how creative you guys will become. 
possible weak points you should look for is the failure of the locking mechanism. So try to transmit the load as smoothly as you can here. Next is the lever arm from the load introduction locks to the sides, which needs to be as small as possible. And finally, make sure that your attachment lock doesn't shear out because it's too thin. Print settings are honestly not critical. Obviously, you should print the hook flat. Instead of a lot of infill, increase the number of perimeters, because in a hook, the printed lines will be in the direction of the internal forces, so the material is ideally loaded. Make sure that you don't under-extrude, because even though the print lines are oriented in the proper direction, bending will cause transversal and shear stresses, separating the perimeters and weakening the part. If you're over the 50 gram limit, which should be hard to reach, Maybe make sure to use mesh modifiers to adjust the density in regions that need more strength in comparison to the less loaded ones. Also make sure to watch 3D Maker Noob's video on the contest he posted a couple of days back where he goes over some tests and findings and shares some modeling techniques. Polymaker will accept entries until September the 25th with shipping locations in the US, EU, China, Japan and Australia. I'm not sure how many will participate, but pay attention because they will only accept the first 128 entries. Oh, and if you don't want to miss me do a thorough analysis of the winning hook, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. As promised in the beginning, if you want to participate as well, but don't have a roll of Polymax PLA at home or even don't own a 3D printer, I might be able to help you out. I still have some leftovers from Polymax PLA around from a recent video and will be printing the hooks of three of you on my Prusa Mark III. Send the STL of your design to this email address until September 19th, 2020 and I'll choose three, in my opinion, interesting and promising entries and will send them together with my own design to Polymaker. Please also include print settings and further details, otherwise I'll make a best guess. So have fun designing the strongest hook, bending the rules even more if you have good ideas, and I guess I'll see you on the test stand. Please leave your thoughts and ideas about this contest and your design ideas in the comments for discussion. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you're all doing well. If you found this video helpful, then leave a like, share it with the community and make sure that you subscribe for more. If you want to support my work, head over to Patreon, become a YouTube member or use the affiliate links in the description. Go check out my other videos if you currently have more time than usual and want to educate yourself. Stay healthy, auf Wiedersehen and I hope to see you in the next one.